Hi, everybody. Welcome to another of our Hand of the Days. And this one is a particularly interesting one. And I'm always telling you that you should listen to the bidding, try and use all the information available to you, and you'll find that you can work a good few things out. So we start here with the North Hand. And North is going to open a diamond. And the east hand here has um, opening points, uh, tolerance for spades, and uh, four cards in, in clubs and hearts, and nothing in dimes. So it's all the uh, qualities for a takeout double. So it should double here, showing saying partner, look, I have an opening hand, and I have nothing in dimes, so I'll, I, I can tolerate any other suit that you want to play in. So what does South do? Well, South should bid over the double as if the double didn't exist. So uh, because it hasn't interfered with its bid, South would go to one spade. Um, West is now under no obligation to, uh, to bid because there's been an intervening bid over the takeout double. So rather than show their clubs, uh, they would be encouraging too much by doing that. They've only three points, so they will pass there on this occasion. North should have a look here and say, wow, okay, uh, we have uh, uh, fit in spades here. And I have uh, 15 points, so uh, I really should bid up to three spades uh, because I have quite a nice hand. And so pass from east. And with five spades and eight points, I'm definitely going to take this uh, invitation to four spades. And hopefully I'll be right in my choice. So that would be the bidding that should happen. So let's see how it how it plays out. Well, the obvious thing to do is to uh, the lead is going to be uh, come from the west hand. It's not a great idea to uh, to play a singleton trump. Okay, so are we going to lead a heart or are we going to lead a club? Well, the clubs are a better a better uh, bet. So we we'll lead the four of clubs because we, at least we have two honors in so the four of clubs is led six of clubs we'll take the queen and we'll play the three so we look at uh dummy and we say okay um they're out of clubs so there's no point in me playing um the clubs again so my best bet would be to probably play the queen of hearts Sorry, I'll do that. There's a four of hearts there, and I'm going to take that with the king. So now what should I do? Well, I really should be playing uh, taking out trumps now. So the best thing I could do is uh, when I have nine spades, when I have nine spades or nine trumps here, which I do, Normally, with headed by the ace king, they say nine never, eight ever. We don't go for the finesse if we have nine of them. However, we have listened to the bidding, and the bidding says that my uh, that east here has two two or fewer diamonds, but it must have three spades for its bid. And if it has three spades for its bid, and it was the opening, uh, it, it was a doubler. Uh, suggesting it has opening points, well, then it is much more likely to hold uh, the queen of spades and with three of them. So if we know that, we can very easily go ace of spades, eight of spades, three of spades, five of spades. And now we'll go two of spades, ten of spades. We'll take the finesse this time. Um, we're so right to do that. And now we can take out the last of the trumps. 
Now, having done that, let's have a look what we can do now. Well, we really should be attacking diamonds. And what did we hear in the bidding? We heard that the East Hand has two or fewer diamonds and very probably doesn't have the Queen. I mean, it shouldn't really have a defensive card in the suit that it's doubling as a takeout. Because one of the good things about the double is that it says to your partner, I have nothing in this suit, therefore all my points are in the other three suits. So the concentration of the points in the three suits is an important part of the double bid. So I'm going to play the King of Diamonds, Four of Diamonds, Two of Diamonds, Six of Diamonds. I'm going to play the Jack of Diamonds. Now, West here can see that they, uh, they, if it puts up the Queen, uh, it's going to be hit by the Ace, and the Ten is now the, the lead card there. So it's not going to, there's no value in it taking the, uh, uh, covering the, the Jack. But it's not going to help because we have one more. Queen goes up and the ace goes up. And then now we can uh, now we can play the ten of diamonds. Get rid uh, get rid of those clubs and the seven of diamonds. Get rid of the other club. We play the ace of hearts. And uh, we now can finish off with our lovely trumps. And look at that. We make 12 tricks, all because we listen to the bidding. It really is important that you do listen to the bidding. It gives you so much uh, of a, a better, uh, more evidence of how to play the hand. If you just ignore it, well, then you'd probably have... Uh, taken the diamond finesse you might have uh, you certainly won't make 12 tricks and you won't come top of the top of the pile hope you enjoyed that so my name is Rory Egan from Grandmaster Bridge if you enjoy these little deals of the day or hands of the day please like and subscribe it helps us enormously with YouTube thanks again see you soon